Another piece of this exhibition is um, a work by Paul Burgess, who um, is a London-based artist of Caribbean heritage. Uh, his parents came to um, the UK from uh, Jamaica in the 60s, and he spent here first few years of his life before being raised in Canada, but um, the Caribbean music uh, has always been an inspiration uh, for his work. And here uh, he created uh, two horns, um, that play uh, music, um, in particular in this exhibition they are playing a soundscape by the artist Richard White uh, who has uh, created participatory walks um, questioning um, and discussing about colonial links with the West Indies, the East Indies and in general and so this um, normally projects um, a music um, which I just uh, paused for uh, being able to film the exhibition. Um, so this is um, cardboard um, and the other horn is made of um, plastic bottles. So Paul Burgess uses uh, many recycled materials. And um, so this is made of uh, cardboard, uh, string and um, some epoxy glue. And the box is also, so the box has um, um, a device that plays music and the electronics are also designed uh, by him. Yes, he is also an engineer as well as an artist. So the next work here is a larger piece by Felicity Bowers who uh, created four of these uh, four seasons um, and um, they contain various leaf motifs as well as um, various um, symbols and so these uh, four um, um, different colors um, represent the four seasons so we can see some of the other work here in print format and um, she was also um, inspired by um, Richard's, um, Richard White's walk it's like somehow the light is not working really well because of the reflectors but this is a very large catalpa leaf so catalpa was a tree that um, like many other plants was moved um, to the UK from former colonies it's one of the exotic plants that decorates our garden, and so this was a reflection on how um, plants travel and how um, often we forget their original names and they are renamed, but in this particular case we have um, the name Katapa, and so the leaf itself is um, painted over um, in blue and gold, and the name is um, indicated next to it. Another work that tells a story is um, by Lucia Harley, uh, whose father um, was a botanist for Kew Gardens. He collected in many places, including Brazil, or mainly in Brazil. Um, this work uh, was inspired uh, by Lucia's neighbor, who is now uh, 90 years old, and he um, likes to grow potatoes. So these are uh, very um, delicate potato flowers. Um, which have been represented in the photography, um, but also the clay objects um, that are on the wall. And um, the lines represent some cuttings. So this neighbor um, used to um, um, defend um, rubber plantations in Malaya. And um, these lines represent the cuttings on the uh, rubber tree but also probably some colonial uh, bonding um, in that particular case. Another piece, uh, other series are from Maidi Kambarami, who is um, an African artist based in Bath, um, who um, did her degree in at Baspa University. And um, she uh, created various uh, pieces using digital media some of that, um, these, these plant uh, designs are represented, like they are inspired by uh, little stories uh, of her childhood. And here um, there is an evolutive artwork um, designed on digital media that represents the changes of seasons. So this is autumn. Winter. This 
spring. And summer. The exhibition also had some reference books which include um, Healing Herbs of Jamaica, um, the remarkable plants um, that shape um, our world, which is um, published by Q Gardens. Um, but also um, the secret life of the Jordan of the Georgian Garden, and some other uh, works um, referring to contemporary exhibitions, including uh, Entangled Past, um, um, current um, exhibition at the Royal Academy of Art. And um, now we are going in the second uh, room um, where there is more evolutive work. Um, so this project had various uh, um, talks, uh, walks, and uh, art workshops. The talk series um, uh, were run at the Bath Royal uh, Literary and Scientific Institution. Um, there were seven talks in total, and they were recorded and um, QR coded. They are available to watch on YouTube. Um, they worked on various themes including biodiversity and colonial resistance, maroon rice varieties in Suriname and French Guyana, talk by Nicolas Pinas, on resilience of the dead silence and the crisis of imagination, walking and asking questions in Bath's Bath Sydney Gardens, a talk by Richard White who also did a walk with us, another talk by Lucia Harley, plants and people between uncertainty and resilience, um, she talked about her work in Brazil and um, Froome, which is not too far from Bath. Plant knowledge depicted bot botanical identifications of 17th century illustrations of Dutch Brazil, a talk by Mireia Alcantara Rodriguez, and No Swinging on Sunday in Bath's Pleasure Gardens, a talk by uh, Kirsten Elliott. And we had a lunch workshop and also another workshop and a um, talk series, um, a talk on... Uh, connections uh, between Bath um, and Bath in Barbados and Bath in Jamaica. So this was a part um, of my work um, since I did the research there. So this is a few images of my talk um, at the Bath Royal um, Literary and Scientific Institution. So we have a screen here that shows various images of the project. Um, this is um, a talk by Richard White. Um, and uh, we also have some images of the workshops that we ran. Several of them were um, conducted here in the 4-4 AD, AD gallery where I'm doing this filming. This is a winter walk um, in uh, Sydney Gardens with Richard White. So Sydney Gardens was a former pleasure garden um, under the Georgians and uh, from this period it has various ruins um, um, such as a grotto um, and also it has various uh, plants uh, that were uh, taken from other places. So Sydney Gardens was also a topic of Kirsten Elliott's walk. So this is a summer walk and she also gave a lecture on the same topic. So this was a very different um, atmosphere and walk. Uh, this was a walk at um, Fairfield House, a former residence of Haile Selassie. This was in the Bath Botanical Garden where we did a drawing picnic after we looked at plants. So here, this one is back to Fairfield House. This is an image of the talk by Mireya Alcantara Rodriguez. So this is a bit mixed up. <laughs> So I show a few images. Um, so these were collages made by participants of various workshops that we um, created um, in this project. Um, this was one uh, led by Simba Pile, who is an artist from Barbados who lives in Bath. Um, so we worked about the topic uh, entangled roots and um, 
the workshop group that various plants that um, are part of our identity and we often don't even know that these are not indigenous plants but imported from some other place and uh, we, we did the same workshop in Barbados and you can see some of the images here um, and also here so Simba's work is also um, her um, own artwork um, here on the wall So this larger piece represents some healing plants um, that were used um, in the Caribbean. And the series is called Entangled uh, Roots. Simba and uh, Lucia were also the artists leading um, the, this workshop at the Holborn Museum in summer in July 2023 when we created banners 